Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the terminology involved in describing autographs and documents. And that's very important because you need to know what you're ordering or what you're selling in this business. First up, and I'm going to do this all with Kennedy items, is a Jacqueline Kennedy signed photo. This is called the signed photo. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory. It's a photograph of the First Lady signed. The abbreviation for this would be SP. On the other hand, this is what's known as an ALS, autograph letter signed. Everything is in the hand of the writer, who in this case is now Jacqueline Onassis, and she signs it J. Onassis. Everything is written by her. If it were an LS or a letter signed, then the body of the letter would be written by somebody else and it would have her signature, but this is an ALS. Here's a John F. Kennedy typed manuscript signed. This can also be referred to as a TMS. It can also be referred to as a DS, document signed. What makes this not a letter and what differentiates this from the Jackie Kennedy letter that I just showed you is it doesn't have a Dear General Taylor. It's memorandum for General Taylor. And it doesn't have a Yours Truly. It's a document. It's not a letter. So it's a typed manuscript signed or a document signed. TMS or DS. Here's a neat little item written out by Kennedy on White House stationery. This would be called an autograph note or AN. Notice it's all written by Kennedy but does not have a signature, does not have a dear so-and-so. So it's known as an autograph note or AN. And this is known as a typed letter signed. It's a letter by John F. Kennedy. It says, Dear Congressman. It says, Sincerely has a signature, it's typed and signed by Kennedy. Typed letter sign, also known as an LS, TLS or LS. This, even though it's printed, is known as a free frank. Presidents and their wives had franking privileges at various points during our history and were allowed to send letters without putting postage stamps on them. A free frank or FF. This one happens to be printed but it's still a free franc. Now one thing I didn't go over is sizes have different references. For instance, this is known as a piece of paper that is octavo or 8TO. It would be written 8TO and it's because it's half a full sheet of paper. The normal full sheet of papers like this description, that's known as quarto quarto, octavo. It's about half the size. And they can be approximate. They don't have to be certain levels. There's bigger sizes and smaller sizes. Um, a huge piece of paper might be called folio. And a teeny little piece of paper might be called 16 mo, 16 mo. And those are various references that autograph and book dealers use to show the size of an item. Hope this has been helpful to you.